Welcome. This short video is going to demonstrate how to set up the USB ASP device sold by TechBox with AVR Studio version 7. Um, here we have AVR Studio version 7 open. We've opened up a simple project, um, ECE 375, uh, one of the first projects you do. Um, and I'm going to show you how to set up the USB ASP for programming. Uh, the traditional pathway in AVR Studio to program is to just hit this play button, but that requires the use of a specific programmer supply by Atmel or purchased from Atmel to do that work. Um, those are fairly expensive. Um, we opted for a lower cost solution to pass the savings on to you. Um, so we're using USB ASP devices. To set up USB ASP, you need to go to Tools. And mine's already been set up. So on, you, on yours, you won't have this icon. Instead, you only have external tools. So you select external tools. From there, this first menu option used to say new or new one, and the title was new one down here. This field and this field were both blank. Um, what I need you to do is go ahead and set up so that you use the output window. You do not want to prompt for arguments. Um, you don't care about the Unicode and the close on exit. This is grayed out because you're not using the output window. Go ahead and change your title to something like USB ASP, and then in the command, you need to enter this location. When Atmel Studio is installed, it installs something else called the AVR tools. Um, these are a set of command line tools, um, GCC, um, various linkers, so on and so forth, and the programmer AVR dude. They're traditionally and defaultly located in program files, x86, Atmel, AVR tools, AVR toolchain, bin, and then the specific executable you want is avrdude.exe. So we'll go ahead and we'll scroll back through that, but if you can't find this, the easy thing to do is just search my computer for avrdude.exe. So in my case, C colon, program files, x86, atmel, AVR tools, AVR toolchain, bin, avrdo.exe. The next thing is the list of arguments. So this list of arguments you can find here. Um, there's a set of these. The dash C is designating the type of programmer, USB ASP. The dash P is talking about the part you're going to be programming. For the EC375 course, it's the ATmega128. The capital B designates how fast to program. Um, the units are unknown to me at this point. Um, and the dash U is defining what you're going to do. Uh, you just need to copy this directly. You don't need to understand this, but I'm explaining it in case you're curious. Um, you can find out more if you do a Google for AVR Dude and look at its command line parameters. Here you have flash, so you're going to flash, write, and then you're going to write this program directory debug item file name dot hex. Um, these dollar sign parentheses are used by AVR Studio to automatically insert information so that the program um, knows what to do. So essentially this is saying you're going to write a hex file that's located in your project directory's subdirectory debug with your file name dot hex. That's essentially what that's saying. Don't forget, you'll see this colon I here at the end. Once this is done, you can say OK. All right. Then you want to make sure that your project compiles. So you're going to want to go to project and build, excuse me, build, rebuild the solution. Okay. Rebuild all succeeded. That's important. If you don't see succeeded, then the next step won't work. Then you simply go to tools and here is the USB ASP we just made. We run that, we see a sequence. We'll see safe mode fuses, thank you, done. All right. It's worth a double check here to make sure that there wasn't any errors. Um, you may see something um, like this here. Set the S clock frequency 30 hertz. Warning, cannot set S clock period. Check the USB ASP firmware update. These are just warnings. Um, the program still compiles and downloads if you get to this final step. Thank you.